Hello, how are you? And another week's passed. It's a little bit dismal today. It is, we're now in September. Drizzle. So this week's video. Water. Drizzle. Well, lack of. Lack of. <laughs> Our battle with the low water levels of the Warsaw locks. Yes. The main really line well. end. Don't really well. um, Yeah. Our first trip along the old main line through Smethwick. Whoa, the old, the old the main old line one. through wow, Smethwick okay. and into Birmingham city centre the first time we did it. Whoop, whoop. That's a view to say, go and see. So please put any comments below, we'll get back to you when we can. And you know the favourite one, push the button, ring the bell, it's free to you and me. <laughs> you and me and the world. <laughs> Sign up, subscribe. Don't turn around and run away from it. again didn't I so we'll take the blame for this but we've done a couple of miles and this is the first time we've stopped and gone down the weed hatch again lots and lots of algae on this canal as a result of the hot weather and this is after the work over the way has gone off it today so here we are at the end of the Walsall Another one done. Different experience, wasn't it, honey? Oh, just a bit. But don't, don't, don't go down that black light one. <laughs> Fuel boat going past us. We thought we'd get some diesel off him, but fortunately, he hasn't got any. cruise up from the old Wee Locks to the Tipford Cool Junction. Very low water levels, grounded several times. Didn't need to use the pole though, did manage to get off. So we're now just going to head around the pools. Head into the pool for the, the first one. So we're just heading into the first pool. For the BCN requirement. For the BCN plaque. So we did meet a gentleman called Phil a bit earlier. And he's part of the BCN, isn't it? So he's part of the BCN. So he did advise us that there is plenty of water in the pools at the moment because they did dredge them out a year or so ago. And we shouldn't have any problems with the water levels once we get up here. So it does actually look a bit better where we are right now. We'll make our way round and see what happens. We need to go into the, the first pool, which will be just to our right, just a little bit further up here. Stop the video, take a picture, restart the video, go down back to the junction, and then turn left to the second pond or pool to go down and turn round, take a picture. And then come back. This is also another silver propeller challenge as well as the plaque for the BCN. So we'll be doing the picture for the silver propeller so this will be location number six. Yeah. Which is really good. Story has it. We come in. He said there is an exit on the other side, but too helpful for us, like, to 
figure it out. So. so here we are, we've done the first pond, just come out around the junction and going into the second pond. I uh, watched the ducks having a fight, or playing roundabouts in the water. And there's a corner of the big sat on either a raised bit of nest. There you go, looks like a cormorant on a nest, as Paul just said. So, we go underneath the M5. Yeah, it's going under Again, the M5 today. for the second time today. Big space here to do a donut and get turned round. <laughs> there was those lads asking us to do donuts earlier. We've done one now. in the pond, both ponds achieved. We're able to find that we've got a silver propeller for yep. two challenges. Two challenges in one, silver propeller and BCM. BCM for visiting both lakes. We're on the Wolverhampton section of the BCM still and there's the main line, BCM main line going underneath. Going underneath, just going under the aqueduct, over the aqueduct. Stanchions for the motorway. Are we in the middle of down? that canal? There is another boat coming down it, but I don't think we can see it from here. You might just pick it up. Yeah, just pick it up, just down there. Back under the motorway again. Valley Canal Museum, although unfortunately obviously doesn't look like it's in use anymore, but it's the new Smethwick pumping station originally. I have to say, having struggled for recycling over the past few weeks, quite impressed with the number of recycle bins CRT have put in and on the canal here. Yeah. Nice to see. We've just moored up at the top of the three Smethwick locks. And we're just going to walk down the engine arm, which is literally a few yards. So rather than fight with the wind and the very narrow entrance for the tunnel, which I'll show you, the bridge, which I'll show you in a moment, we thought we'll just walk across it so that we've done it. It goes over the, the old, new, the new, new the main, main line. line. It's a very ornate bridge. And it goes over the new main line. As you can see, it's a very narrow channel. 
and that's the bridge to come under to come onto it and it literally crosses the new main line which has got an island in the middle of it just there and just down a short channel and it was obviously part of the network which was used for industrial purposes originally and there we go that is the engine arm As we keep saying it's just such a shame to keep seeing all these old buildings falling into such disrepair and there are some 14 day moorings along here as well which do seem to be used it's quite up together along here the obligatory traffic cone in the water and then a line of boats moored just up there under the next bridge which i think are private moorings with a gate on by the looks of it yeah, and this is as far as we can walk down because this is the private engine arm moorings but I would imagine it's just at the end of these where the winding hole is wouldn't it be? Yeah. So there we are, that's the engine arm for you. Like I say, quite a pleasant arm. Bigger than you'd think it is looking in the Nicholson's Guide. Passable, unlike the last arm we tried to do that we had yeah. to reverse back up again. <laughs> <laughs> that was amusing, wasn't it? Yes, very much. <laughs> and yeah, 14 day moorings just back further down here as well. Wouldn't be much fun in the winter though, because it is a grass tow path, so it would be a bit grotty in the wet weather of the winter and a bit muddy, I would imagine. Smothered. Three locks are a bit of a challenge, aren't they? Just slightly. We've had to dig a cat box out, a traffic cone out, move something else that's up in the water at the bottom with the pole, but I couldn't get it out. It's just taking us almost an hour, I think, isn't it, to do those three locks? Yeah. So the middle lock, the boat before us had warned us, was difficult. But yeah, like Paul just said, there's traffic cones, isn't there, and cat box. Yeah. So always easier to dig things like that out that you can see before you try and go through the lot. So we did, didn't we? We tried. And then we opened the gate for Paul to get the boat in and as he was walking back to the boat, the gate started to close again. I tried to open again and couldn't get it open. So then that was what was at the time, wasn't it? it was trying to, I couldn't even close the paddle. The paddle was stuck about six inches open. So you had to yeah. get the boat pole out, didn't you? Just slightly. Would be interesting to know what it was that had been stuck in there, but we never did see it, but managed to free it. I suppose it. that people we just passed in that water rescue and search boat. Got to be the people that have to go and have a look. So um, it's cleared anyway, the lot's working properly again now, but yes, we will report it so it can be addressed properly, so it's not problematic all summer for everyone. But it's kind of put us back a bit. So I'm thinking we probably won't do two big flights of lots today, we might do one. But we're still a couple of miles outside the gas street basin at the moment. So, as with always, it Oak is time. what it is. As long as we get to Perry Bar by the end of the day tomorrow. I hope good. so, because then I'm going to have to try and find my way to Sutton Coldfield. You'll be right, you can jump on a bus, it'll be fine. <laughs> Been a real mixed bag of weather so far today. Wind, rain, sun. We're back to sun at the moment. And you've got the first glimpse up there ahead of Birmingham City Centre. We're now on the new main line. And we're nearly there. It's taken a lot longer than we anticipated today. We've been on the old main line. The first of it obviously was very reedy uh, and the problems with the locks. So we were going to try and do some of the loops as well on the way in, but we're going to do them another time. We're going to get into Gas Street Basin and then if we don't do the other flights of locks out the other side today towards Perry Bar. Some of the name of that one. Soho. Soho. Yes. So is that yeah. Like Soho in London. Probably. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, if we don't do any more lock flights today towards Perry Bar, at least we can be close to them and have that to look forward to tomorrow. Yeah. This beats travelling into Birmingham on the motorways and sitting in all the traffic, doesn't it? takes just as long, if not longer. Well, we've spoken now, we'll end up having boat traffic jams. <laughs> but a far more relaxing way to get into Birmingham city centre. Here we are, finally, 
coming into the city centre. is available from here, £6 for adults and £4 for children. And this is Black Sabbath Bridge that we're just going under now. I don't think it's after the band. No, there's a plaque on the wall there, we'll have to look up the um, history and we can put it on here. And here we are in Gas Street Basin. Gonna turn around, head back out and find a mooring so we can have a bit of a wonder. Expertly done as always, Paul's just turned around in this spot here so we can reverse up to the mooring outside the canal house and have a bit of a wonder before we go and explore the next set of locks. So I hope you enjoyed that. It's been really interesting learning the history of the area. Just a bit. Oh, and I'm sure we've got loads more to tell you. Smethwick being the first major location in the Black Country as you come out of Birmingham. Yes, I've learned that one. And the engine arm as well and the history behind that. Engine arm, yes, you've got that one. <laughs> Boring is there. There is, yes. yes. I told you I got that one. <laughs> next week. Oh, next week. Wow. What delights have we got for you there? We'll be leaving Birmingham through the two big lock flights, Farmers and Aston. I'm glad you remembered. Down, Aston as in Aston Villa. Down to Spaghetti Junction. Oh, past the them. Most unusual piece of cruise we've Oh, no, we're on water. Yeah, we're, we're not on food. <laughs> Damn, we haven't done food for And a while. then we haven't covered Perry Bar because we've already done that in a previous video. If you want to see that, it's in the Commonwealth Games video we did a couple of weeks ago. And then leaving Perry Bars next week. The dangers of water. Yeah, lots of obstructions in the canal as we left Perry Bar, so... What did we hit? What did we not hit? What did we turn around and see or not see? Join us next week to see what they are. See you later. Push the button, but ring the bell. It's free <laughs> to you and me. Ciao. He nearly forgot. <laughs> See you later. Have a good week. Bye.